wonderful how people make millions of gallons of wine in grape factory. Wine making. Red wine, in moderation, has long been thought of as heart healthy. But do we know how people make wine in factories? And how do modern wineries produce their wine today? Watch till the end and click subscribe and the bell button on our channel to see more videos like this. Let's go! First, this is how they harvest the grapes. Fresh and fully ripped wine grapes are prepared as raw material for winemaking. Because of the effect upon grape composition, proper timing of the harvest is of great importance. Premature harvesting results in thin, low-alcohol wines. Very late harvesting may yield high-alcohol, low-acid wines. Harvesting may be completed in one picking or in several. The grape clusters are cut from the wine and placed in buckets or boxes, and then transferred to larger containers or metal gondola trucks for transport to the winery. Mechanical harvesting systems based on shaking the berries from the clusters or on breaking the stems are widely used in California, Australia, France, and elsewhere. At the winery, the grapes may be dumped directly into the crusher or may be unloaded into a sump and carried to the crusher by a continuous conveyor system. Second part is crushing the grapes. In modern mechanized wine production, the grapes are normally crushed and stemmed at the same time by a crusher stemmer. The grape berries are crushed and fall through the cylinder perforations. Most of the stems pass out on the end of the cylinder. One method of securing sufficient color is to use grape varieties containing large amounts of pigments in their skins. The skins and juice are sometimes heated to about 149 Fahrenheit to extract color. A roller crusher may also be used. Ancient methods of crushing with the feet or treading with shoes are not rare as well. Fermentation. There is renewed interest in the pre-fermentation heat treatment of red must to extract color and deactivate enzymes. This process, which employs short period of fermentation on the skins and for the use with red grapes that have been attacked by the paratistic fungus. The process of alcoholic fermentation requires careful control for the production of high-quality wines. Requirements include suppression of the growth of undesirable microorganisms, presence of adequate numbers of desirable yeast, proper nutrition for yeast growth, temperature control for prevention of excessive heat, Prevention of oxidation. Important warning. Contact with air must be restricted to prevent oxidation during fermentation. Last step, when the wine are about to ready to sell is aging and bottling. Many wines improve in quality during barrel and bottle storage. Such wines eventually reach their peak and with their further aging begin to decline. 
Wines are usually aged in wooden containers made of oak. Allowing oxygen to enter and water and alcohol to escape. Extracts from the wood contributes the flavor. Some wines are rarely aged in the wood for long periods, and some are never kept in wood. This change is possible because of the efficiency of new clarification methods. Early bottling of wines reduces costs for storage and for handling in wood incorporate and produces fresher, fruitier flavor. Now it's time to bottle our wine. Before bottling, wine may require blending, filtration, and use the antiseptics to combat microbial development. During the actual bottling operation, oxygen pickup must be kept to a minimum. Bottom filling, that is, inserting a tube into the bottle and filling from the bottom, it is often used. And glass is still the usual material, although experiments have been made with plastics. After bottling, the closure is made. Screw caps are used for standard wines. Finally, a few special wines continue to age in the winemaker's cellar for years. In fact, if you look up different types of red wine, you'll discover that this step is considered essential for reserved bottlings. That's the end for today. Thank you for watching the video. Any other agricultural technology that you want us to have included? Let us know in the comment section. See you in the next video.